The United Aircraft Corporation UAC, is preparing to fly prototypes of the MC-21-310 and SJ-100 commercial jets with only Russian-sourced components this half-year, Anton Alakhanov, Minister of Industry and Trade, told local media. The first flights of airplanes with the complete import phase-out, the MC-21 with the PD-14 engine and the SJ-100 with the PD-8 engine, are planned during the first six months of the year. Certification flight tests will follow, Alakhanov said. Originally developed in partnership with Western suppliers, the aircraft had to have their designs changed after sanctions were imposed due to the Russian military invasion of Ukraine. However, the replacement has been a long time coming, amid the country's aerospace industry's focus on supplying military aircraft and upgrading older planes. The Russian government's latest target is to begin final assembly of the commercial jets by 2026. Despite this, the minister said there are currently 13 MC-21s and 20 SJ-100s in various stages of completion. The MC-21-310 can carry up to 211 passengers and is powered by the PD-14 engine instead of the Pratt & Whitney PW-1000G. The SJ-100 is a Russified variant of the Superjet 100, which flew with the SAM-146 engine. UAC is finalizing the assembly of a prototype of the aircraft with the PDA turbofan, as shown in a recent video released by the company. Like its predecessor, the SJ-100 has around 100 seats and is aimed at the regional aviation market. Russia currently has 13 serial MC-21 aircraft and 20 SJ-100 airliners in production at various stages of completion, Industry and Trade Minister Anton Alakhanov said at a meeting of the Presidium of the Council of Legislators. Currently, there are 13 serial MC-21 aircraft in production, 9 airframes are ready for installation of systems, another 4 are at the stage of aggregate assembly. As for the SJ-100, we have 20 serial aircraft in various stages of completion, including 10 already in the process of final assembly, installation of equipment and systems, the minister said. About 40 MC-21 and SJ-100 aircraft in various stages of completion are located at the enterprises of the United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, part of Rostec. This was done to speed up production after certification of the Russian version of the aircraft, UAC previously reported to TASS. As Rostec CEO Sergei Chemizov stated last year, serial production of MC-21 aircraft is planned to begin in 2026. The start of production of SJ-100 aircraft fully assembled from domestically produced components is also scheduled for 2026. The SJ-100 and the MS-21-310 are considered the pioneers of import substitution in the domestic aviation industry, according to Deputy General Director and Head of Strength Complex of the Central Aerohydrodynamic Institute, SAGI, Mikhail Zichenko. We are conducting structural strength testing of the MC-21 together with Yakovlev PJSC, the developers of the aircraft, Zichenkov told Nachnaya Rossiya. In 2022, the MC-21 equipped with the Russian-made PD-14 engine and a domestic composite wing was certified by the Federal Air Transport Agency. The MC-21-310 is a new generation medium-haul airliner with capacity from 163 to 211 passengers. Russian aircraft designers have also overhauled the SJ-100, a new generation short-haul jet aircraft with up to 103 seats, to replace foreign-made spare parts and materials with domestic ones. We are conducting frequency tests of SJ-100 prototypes to confirm the safety of flight tests and provide comprehensive information on the properties of modernized components made from domestic materials," Sichenkov continued. This year, one of the updated and import-substituted SJ-100 aircraft successfully completed its flight in Komsomolska on Amur.
It was a prototype with Franco-Russian SAM-146 engines, and now we are testing the strength of another SJ-100 aircraft part with the domestic PD-8 engine. The airliner is already preparing for flight tests. He explained that the main components of the SJ-100 airframe, including fuselage, wings, horizontal and vertical tails, pylons for mounting engines, landing gear and aircraft controls, are Russian-made. We believe that parts made of domestic materials are in no way inferior to imported analogs and in some cases, for example, if we talk about the wing and impenage of the aircraft, they are superior, emphasized the expert. The MC-21 has become the first Russian long-haul aircraft with wings made of composite materials. Composites are made of two or more materials with different physical and chemical properties. They are typically less expensive, lighter, and more durable when compared with common materials. The share of composites in the MC-21 airframe amounts to 30%. The domestic composite materials for the plane's wing structure were developed by scientists from Moscow State University, Nuclear Energy Agency Rosatom and Aviation Industry Experts, according to Russian defense conglomerate Rostec. The MC-21-300 aircraft with the now famous, Black Wing, made of domestic composites conducted its maiden flight on December 25, 2021. As for the advantages of the composite, perhaps the most important of them is the lightness of composite components, as well as the absence of corrosion, explained Zichenkov. If you take a sample of metal and composite of the same thickness, they could be almost similar in terms of strength but the composite will be about 40 to 50 percent lighter. If the airframe is lighter, more passengers and fuel can be accommodated, thereby increasing flight range and other important characteristics, the expert continued. The reduction of aircraft weight has been one of the main goals of aviation throughout its history. Zichenkov emphasized that hybrid details which combine metal, composites and other components are even more promising. Metal, for example, conducts electricity better than the composite and is more protected from lightning strikes, he said. Therefore designers install a thin metal lightning protection mesh on the outer surface of the wing, which should divert discharges in the event of a lightning strike, that is, the composite wing must be additionally protected from the effects of lightning. Serial deliveries of MC-21 aircraft may begin in 2026, Rostec CEO Sergei Chemizov told reporters following Russian President Vladimir Putin's February address to the Federal Assembly. He added that the tests will be completed as quickly as possible, but the exact end date is not yet known. While Russia's short-haul SJ-100s have been in operation since 2011, the MC-21-310 is expected to fill the niche of the nation's medium-haul airliner soon. Meanwhile, plans to produce all Russian domestic long-haul aircraft are already underway.